Hello everyone! So I'm going to be leaving to college this week and to prepare for that, my mom and I ran around to different grocery stores today getting food so that one, for our household because we haven't gone grocery shopping and two, food that I can actually bring to college. So this is our haul that we got from the Asian supermarket. The supermarket that we go to nearby is actually called Cam and it's a big conventional Asian supermarket and this is all the food that we got there. So starting here is actually pretty much two of the same things, but this is seaweed that comes in large sheets, and this is seaweed that comes in these individual packs. This one is for my family, and we're gonna leave this at home, and this one I'm bringing to college. Actually, this one, if you look really closely, this is seaweed with green tea, that's what nokcha means. And it sounds really weird at first, but you actually don't taste it, so it's not that <laughs> it doesn't actually taste as weird as it sounds. Then here is just some regular, this is olive oil seaweed that comes in individual packs. Really good to eat as a snack or with rice and side dishes. This is what I'm going to be bringing to college. And over here, we have some instant ramen. So here is just some conventional regular ramen, sheen black ramen. It's really good, really spicy. Or not really spicy, but you know, pretty spicy. And here is something that I've actually never tried before. But this is Korean komtang. What komtang is, is this beef bone broth. And that's why it's like this milky soup here. And you have noodles in it. And I've actually never tried this before. And it sounded so good. So I decided to pick it up. There's actually five packs in here. So that's exciting. I don't actually eat instant noodles that much. But, you know college so I figured I should get some and I think this is going to be enough to last me the whole semester and maybe more probably actually the whole year <laughs> over there is tofu I'm not bringing that that's for our house soft tofu two packs and then here is instant rice porridges I got six of them and two kinds this is the this is the rice porridge with abalone and rice porridge with vegetables. These are microwavable and they're really good as a snack or as breakfast. So decided to pick up six of those. And over here we have two sauces. This one is this dumpling dipping sauce, but it's actually just seasoned soy sauce. It's just soy sauce with other things in it. It's soy sauce, vinegar, onion powder, ginger powder, and garlic powder. It's just Pretty much regular soy sauce. And then here is gochujang, which is Korean red chili paste. This is just really, really good on a lot of things, even just mixed with plain rice. You know, Koreans can't live without gochujang. I like that these were like smaller bottles, so that's why I picked them up. Here is gochujamchi, which is this spicy toucan tuna. It's really good to eat just with plain rice. <laughs> I eat that a lot at home. And here is uh, six of the same thing. It's six brown rice, instant brown, no, I shouldn't say instant, microwavable brown rice. And, you know, my mom's very worried that I will starve if I don't have instant foods nearby <laughs> or microwavable foods nearby. And over here, that is not for me, that's for my sister. These are boiled dumplings, and so you pop these smaller dumplings in water and you eat them with soy sauce, super good. And then this is actually new to me too. This is uh, a bean chuk, so this chuk and this chuk is similar in that they're porridges. And apparently you mix these with water and milk. My mom recommended this to me. I actually never tried these before either. And she said, hey, if you like them, bring them to college. And so we got a pack of this. Over here is some tteok. And this tteok is specifically for tteokguk, uh, the rice cake soup. Because they're coin shaped. And so this is not for me. This is for our house. This is black rice, wild sweet rice. I'm going to bring some of this to college because I'm actually bringing a rice cooker to college. For those who don't know, I actually really, really, really enjoy cooking. And so, you know, kind of worried about what I'll make or what I'll eat there. So I'm bringing some rice. I actually bought some plain white rice, but that's coming a little later. But we got the black rice at the Asian supermarket. Over here is three bagged Korean soups. Uh, these aren't really soups. This is a soup. This is yukejang, which is a spicy beef and vegetable soup. And it looks like this. It has like shredded beef. I don't know what kind or cut that beef is, but 
it's super good, very spicy and really good to eat with rice. This is jajang, which is black bean sauce and has pork and vegetables in it. I've actually never tried these three before, we just kind of looked, saw it and decided they look good enough to pick up. So I got two of the jajang because I've had this before. I'm not too... I haven't had yuke jajang in a really long time, so that's why we only got one. But yeah, you usually eat these on top of rice. Super yummy. And over here, we got more dumplings. Uh, actually, this was seen in one of the videos that I did where you steam fry them. Super good. These you steam fry, these you boil. This is uh, in Korean what we call kimari. And basically, they're just these seaweed rolls that are like tempura fried. That have a tempura fried like outer ring to them. Pop these in the air fryer. They're super good as a snack. Let's go over here. Here is some yogurt. So with this, it's just is like a yogurt drink that my brother really, really, really likes to eat frozen after his breakfast. So we got a pack of those. That's for him. This is also for him. This is sweet pumpkin Korean pancake mix. This is called gotok in Korean. My brother really likes these too. They're like these fried pancakes, but you have this like sugar stuffed inside and we all, like with nuts. They're super sweet, but my brother really enjoys them, so we picked that up for him. This is these small anchovies. This is for a side dish that my mom is going to actually be making for me so that I can bring to college. It's a side dish you make with uh, sesame oil and soy sauce and you stir fry it. It's really, really good. I really like that. This pack is pretty expensive though, so we don't get it very often. Then over here are some snacks. These look so amazing. In Korea, the huge trend right now is these flavored almonds. So yes, these are almonds, but they're flavored. And so this is the topoki mat, so it's the topoki almonds. Topoki is this rice cake dish, spicy rice cake dish, but it's almonds flavored as spicy rice cake. So super curious about those, and so I picked these up. Same with this, this is Purdakmat almond. Purdakmat is that spicy chicken fire noodle trend that was really popular a while ago. Still super popular, but that's what the Purdakmat means. And so it's this spicy chicken flavored almonds. So because we have such a long drive to St. Louis, which where I'm going to college, I thought we can bring these as snacks on our road trip. And then over here is these snacks chips so this one that my mom really likes is really good and it's these honey snacks honey corn snacks they taste kind of like corn to me and they come in these little ballish rings then over here is this popcorn snack and this is pretty much tastes like savory popcorn it's a little sweet but mostly savory popcorn, super good. Not the healthiest, like popcorn's pretty healthy, but this is definitely not, it's not as healthy. But uh, I really enjoy these and I'm definitely gonna be smacking on those. And so yeah, this is what we got from the Asian grocery store. So I'm gonna put this away and show you what we got at the American grocery stores that we went to today. So this is our much, much smaller haul at the American grocery store, but we're also going to pick up some more things once we actually get to St. Louis. So this is what we picked up from the American grocery store. We actually went to two, which is why there's a little divide there. But uh, over here, um, this is the only non-food item. These are just shampoo and conditioner that I got at the grocery store, which, you know, works fine for me. We got salt and pepper. This is just a sea salt grinder and a black peppercorn grinder. It's convenient to have spices on hand. Over here is just some jasmine rice. Like I said, I'm going to mix that with the black wild rice that I got at the Asian grocery store so I can make it in my rice cooker. So got this bag for me. Um, bananas for the house. This one's kind of missing though, which was didn't really notice until we were checking out. So that's what we got at one of the stores. This is like less expensive grocery store that we went to. And then where we got these two spices was a much more expensive grocery store. So we got some crushed red pepper and some cinnamon. And so these are actually also for me. I'm gonna be bringing to college because you know, can't have under, under seasoned things. So yeah. That concludes what I bought to prepare to go to college. We ran around for two whole hours. 
buying various things. My family, because we're relatively small, we don't typically shop in hauls. So today was kind of exciting where we just bought so much food. So yeah, this and food that we're planning to pick up actually in St. Louis should definitely last me a whole semester. But yeah, this is the end of my haul. And if you guys really like this, please consider subscribing or liking the video or commenting or doing whatever, but you know, you do you.